Hello, how are you? Today we are going to discuss about very important things. The first important thing is called the non-return the non valve. The second important one is called the float switch. And the third important is called the ball valve. These three gadgets are fitted in a tank, inside a tank, the underground tank. Number one, as we said last time, this is the non-return valve. Number two is a switch, on-off switch, and a floating switch, which is lifted up by the water. And when, whenever it is lifted up to a certain level, like on the top, it shows that it is work, it is working properly and it will switch off when it is lifted up it will switch off when it goes down like this it will switch on according to the cable they have it has three wires two wires work the opposite and the other the, it has three wires two wires work the opposite and the other two wires work the other opposite so i'm going to show you how the what what do i mean by, by the opposite now um this three switches has to be all the time it ha they have they have to be okay you have to check whether it ha they have to work properly otherwise whenever one of these gray switches uh, damages it shows that it will have a poor performance or it might will not work for instance if number one is not working this this was the non return valve if it is worn out it shows that the air will always be inside that uh, pipe that this pipe as we said last time we we discussed we discussed about the airlock of this uh, of this pipe this pipe is not supposed to have any air here and uh, this is why we said uh, that most of the people they put uh, they put like a pipe here with a valve so now if you open this valve and start pouring water and the water continues without stopping continues continues entering 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 and it that it will not fill up if this non-return valve is, is is perfect it shows that when you open this valve here and start adding water here it will such it will reach to a certain level here and stop Otherwise, if it continues going down, it shows that this is not a non-return valve. It is allowing water to go back into the tank. This is the time when you make a decision of changing this valve. So this is the problem of the non-return valve and how it can be solved. Now, the same same way is a ball valve. This ball valve is for the water is supposed to enter from the mains. All the way down here now if this ball valve is not working if it is worn out it shows that even if it is lifted up by the water here it will still overflow so whenever you see the tank overflowing you shall know that that is the problem of the ball valve the ball valve is the one which controls the the water in the tank so that it doesn't overflow okay now point number three was a switch this switch you have to make sure that all the time it is working. Whenever it is lifted up, it shows that it will so switch off the machine. Whether you switch on the machine or not, it will not work. It will not go. It will not where uh, you switch it on or not. It will not go on because the the wiring first of all it comes into the switch and then goes back so that it senses uh, that. There is, uh, there is water here or there is no water. Now, that is uh, the... Let me show you another diagram which will help you understand it better. Yeah. Now, these are two things now. This is, uh, as, as we said, um, this one is the ball valve, the, the one, the inlet, the one which enters, uh, which makes the water enter here. It will close when it is lifted up and uh, when it goes when it goes down it, will, it the water will come from here it will enter into the tank then it will come this way and it will go uh, into it will be pushed it will be pulled by the machine into the system okay 
the same diagram this one shows of uh, the, the, the the non return valve alone now from here let's go let's go let's go up let's go up to the tank up there there is another tank which is fitted in the ceiling or right at the top right at the top of the right at the top of the house what we what we find in, inside this tank we find two things first we find the throw switch then the ball valve nothing else nothing nothing else is important to be fitted here now what is the work of this ball valve the work of this ball valve is is the same as the, as the one which works down there this one is to make sure that the water level will, will reach a certain place and then it will switch it and then it will it it, it will not continue uh, pouring water inside here what is the work of this switch now again this now is working the opposite whenever yeah now this one whenever it is it it is it is down here it is on and when it comes up like a certain level like here uh, it it is off so uh, this this sensor switch is also very important for switching off the machine so that uh, so that the water so that the water will not overflow and nobody will be coming up here to check whether the water is full or not this switch is enough to check your water level so Whenever the water level is uh, at a certain level which you want, is where you have you have to do the adjustment of that switch. It has a cable and it it has a a ball valve. Then it is raised by the water up so that it switches off, and then it goes down so that it switches on whenever the water is used in the house. So this all connect this connection has supposed to be done properly the wiring has to be done properly it will work together with the machine and you shall not have problems what happens if uh, one of these gadgets are not working it is the same as the, as the problem is said down there so if this uh, is if, if this float switch is not working others it, it is the same it will not switch on the machine because the machine is supposed to work together with the ball valve so uh, that is how you ha you can detect these problems, and uh, you will not have you will not have any problem of the airlock. Uh, this one will make sure that no, there is not not even one certain time the water inside this tank up there will get finished because whenever the water get finished completely that is the time when it allows air to enter into the, into the system and then as we said last time you have to remove the air from the pipe so that you have a better supply make sure that all the time you have water you have water in these tanks so so that you you can you can be having a proper supply of the water and thank you very much that was the point number two of seeing what is inside the tank.